And so please welcome to the stage, Kate Hardy. I'll tell you where I was coming from, as far as romance goes, when I was 14 and I was new in the high school, and they were having a Sadie Hawkins Day dance, and I thought, I am going to get up the courage. I just love Leo Boer. And so he was sitting in study hall just before the bell rang, and I went up to him, and I sat in the chair in front of him, and I turned around and I said, are you going to the Sadie Hawkins Day dance? And he said, no. And I said, oh. And I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> but years later, <clears throat> fast forward, to, I'm, I'm in Ireland. I'm in La Hinch in the west of Ireland. And I'm staying in a little hotel. And there's, there's not many people in this little dining room at night. And there's a guy about 16. I'm maybe 30. Then there's a guy about 60. And they say, you know, there's a big dance over in Listun Varna tonight. I said, say that word again, that's wonderful. They said, it's the Listun Varna holiday or harvest fair. Well, I went with them because I thought, oh, there's safety in numbers. And so I sat in the back, as did the older gentleman. And pretty soon the hands were all over. And I said, look, I'm going to walk. I'll walk back to La Hinch. And they said, no, 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 we'll be fine. So I went up and sat in the front of the young man, who was also very, got also very forward. Well, I got to the place, and it was, we came over a hill, and here's this like four foot, four, four story high hotel, which is literally going whoosh, 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 in the in the air, because it's so lively. The bands are so lively, everything is just jumping. And it's this little old hotel with a big porch outside. And it's so loud inside. I sit on the porch. And I talk to the most interesting people. And then I realize these guys, I see them from time to time, they're really getting really drunk. And I thought, well, when I was in Japan, because I was traveling around the world, I met this young man, French fellow, who walked around the world with a pair of blue jeans and two t-shirts and flip-flops. And he said, if you're ever in trouble, go to a priest. And there was a priest there. So I thought, oh, great, oh, great. So I went over and I started talking to him. Father Power started to tell me how important it was for me to keep my virginity, because that's what I had to offer. And I thought, well, this is certainly a safe person to be talking to. And when it came time, when I really got so tired, and it was so noisy that I said, I would like to go home, but I don't want to go with those two young men, those two men that I came with. He said he'd give me a ride. And he had a tiny little Morris minor or something like that. And he, he was on vacation. He ordinarily, he worked in Bradford, England. So he takes, we go the seven miles, and we're, we're at the top of the cliffs of Boer, and I feel very safe. And we get to La Hinch, which has a very wide front street, and you know, Main Street, and really it's almost all, that's all it is, is that, that. and then he makes a big U-turn, there are no lights on the street in La Hinch, and he pulls up in front of my hotel, and suddenly I am, I am flat out on the front seat, on the far seat, and I say, uh, uh, really, uh, Father, Father Power, would you want me to tell your bishop in Bradford, and he said, oh, no, no, and so, my whole idea about the Catholic Church changed a lot. 